Proponents of a new ballot measure in California say their plan will allow people to take back control of their personal information. The California Consumer Privacy Act targets tech companies in a state where many of them are based. The people behind the measure say if it is passed in California, it will lead to nationwide change. Joining me now via Skype from San Diego is Alistair McTaggart. He's the chief proponent of the California Consumer Privacy Act. All right, so Alistair, first of all, why do you feel this law is necessary? Well, I think what's happened over the last couple of years is there's been an explosion in uh, the uh, sale of people's personal information. And when we started doing research here, we found that consumers in California uh, really want uh, a means to take back control of the sale of their personal information. Um, so that's what, that what, what our act would do is three very simple things. It would let you find out what information uh, big businesses are collecting about you and where they're selling it. It would allow you to tell the businesses to stop selling your personal information. And the third thing is it would int introduce accountability. It would make the businesses take better control uh, and, and, and secure your information better uh, so that we would help prevent identity theft. Identity theft is an awful scourge that's happening here. And uh, people are, are very upset about it. And that's the third thing that our business act do. Well, how does your proposal differ from previous attempts at privacy regulation? Well, one of the things that we're doing is uh, we're going about it through a ballot initiative. And uh, so we're able to avoid the special interests that are always um, weakening privacy legislation in uh, whether it's in DC or in Sacramento. And so uh, we feel like we've, uh, we, we consulted for two years with privacy groups, with um, technology experts, and we feel we have a really fair and balanced common sense set of proposals that will give people control back over their information and their children's information. You know, one of the things that people are really upset about is the fact that children's information is being sold. Uh, in many cases, uh, you know, there, CNN just did a report a couple of months ago where uh, kids' information is being sold, uh, infant information. You can pick up infant um, uh, identities for $300 in Bitcoin on the dark web. And so uh, this would help uh, get a handle on Wow. Well, why approach this, Alistair, as a state measure instead of pushing for a federal law? Well, you know, one of the things is um, California has a history of being a leader in this nation on many things that are really important to Americans. And I think that the, the example that people will understand is California really has set the, uh, the, the tone for the nation uh, for emission standards from automobiles. 40 years ago, as a, as a, as a state, we decided that our air, you couldn't see across Los Angeles uh, on, a, on a bad afternoon. And so we, um, we feel like if, these, if this proposal gets, gets, gets um, passed here in California, it will be just exactly the same as with uh, the auto emissions, that the laws will, other, other people in other states will say, hey, we want that. And so uh, we think that this uh, law will, will uh, start in California and spread to the rest of the country the way that the uh, auto emissions did uh, and has changed how cars are sold in America. So as a ballot measure, this doesn't need the support of lawmakers, but what's been their reaction? You know, I think, I think lawmakers uh, are, in general, uh, uh, the ones we've talked to are supportive of the idea, but lawmakers always kind of want to be the people making the laws. That's kind of what they do, and they would uh, if you make the laws, then uh, special interests can need to come to your office and, 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 and uh, you have um, power over the special interests. One of the things that's unique about California is this ballot process, which really puts um, power in the hands of the people. And now we have people opposed against us. We have AT&T, Comcast, Verizon, Google, Facebook, where the original... Um, Contributors, they each spent $200,000, over a million dollars. Now the car manufacturers have just put in $200,000 into this into this uh, campaign against us. And people will say, like, why cars? And the answer is that cars are now collecting your information and selling it. You know, so your car knows where you eat lunch every day. It knows whether you're late to work. It knows how much you weigh. And this is the sort of pernicious um, effect. So of course they're going to protect that data stream because this is hugely profitable to these corporations. Um, so. 
uh, we're up against some of the biggest businesses uh, uh, on the planet. Um, and yet we have faith that the California voters are going to see through um, this opposition that these people are, are, are throwing up and that we are going to uh, be able to pass this and give California voters control back over their personal information and their kids' information. Well, lastly, your background is in real estate. One of your partners has a background in finance. How did you end up leading a measure to regulate tech companies? You know, Elaine, that's a, that's a great question. I, I got into this really uh, because I had a conversation with a Google engineer and I asked him, you know, hey, are, are, should we be worried about privacy? And I honestly, I expected it to be the answer that you get from an airline pilot if you say, should I be worried about flying? And they say, of course not, now that you're here at the airport, the most dangerous part's over. And this Google engineer looked at me and said, if you just knew how much we knew about you, you'd be really scared. Hmm. So that maybe made me start thinking about this. Um, I, I think you actually need someone not in tech to get into this, because when we've gone out and talked to people in tech, they say, oh, we could never... We can never, you know, support you because uh, publicly, because um, you know it's, these companies are too powerful, and our careers, or we would never get another investment opportunity. And so the fact that I am in real estate and uh, and Rick was in uh, head, you know, uh, finance uh, really does give us an opportunity. You know, we're business people, so I think we understand the business side of things, uh, but at the same time, we're not beholden to these tech companies. And so we are truly independent. And uh, for me, this is just something that I, I have little kids and I think about the world they're going to grow up into. And I think, you know, my kids' information is already being sold. These apps where the tours are teaching them to read and teach them uh, to do math are collecting their data and creating electronic profiles on these kids as they grow up. Um, and I, so I, for me, I got into it to try to make uh, the world a little bit better for the kids for my kids growing up so that they could have some control over their information, which right now there's just no one has any ability to know what these companies are collecting or to tell the companies that they don't want that information sold. Well, there is certainly a great deal of interest in privacy and specifically what happens there with this ballot measure in California. Alistair McTaggart, thanks very much for your time, Alistair. Great. Thank you so much.